Hey guys, this is so back from XGG and after the new patch release I decided to make a video with uh, some nice packages to to go to you guys. So uh, this is a strategy that uh, it's a red axis for a while but uh, I I was thinking it would change uh, sooner so I I decided to not explain it deeply. But as it's working this patch, I will fully explain it and show how strong it is. So the strategy relies on using a lot of shields. So we'll start with Scarab. Will you use basically all the shields? And then I will just try some uh, of the cards I saw that were changed in a way I like it. So we'll pick the fish snack. Fish Snack is a very important card because it applies mark that increases your damage and it also uh, mark the, the uh, it's apply mark and it kind of taunts the enemies so the the flies those nasty flies that go very fast after you and kill you quickly they will move into the fish snack instead of the instead of you so it gives you room for maneuver and uh, survive way, way longer than without it. So I'll try the Tri Feather and uh, Scarab Arco, Hero Mint. I think it's enough. Yeah, let's go with this. So, why am I starting with the shield? So the shield it has a 10 seconds cooldown. It means that if it's is found the first time at six seconds, it will spawn every time the the clock ends with six. I just missed the, the thing I would show you. But see, now I will not blow my shield until it's almost 17 uh, almost 17 seconds. What does that mean? That means that I will pick this shield now, the arco, and it's spawned at uh, 19 minutes so every time now and on the shield will always spawn at the second nine meaning that right before every batch wave in the game i will have a shield up meaning that i can use it to kill the bats and in the late game i can use it to protect me from the gargoyles so picking the shields in the right timing it's a major thing when, when, while the shield cooldown is still 10 seconds. Uh, right now, I, I, that's a very bad pick for, for me, but I'll have to deal with it. And you see, the, the, and starting with the Scarab means that I will have the shield in the middle of the bat wave. So, as you just saw, I was in the middle of the bat wave when the shield spawned. Let's try the Cry Fighter that got the damage buff and see if it's enough. Uh, but the shield part is what I wanted to show you. Okay. So we need to, to play while paying attention to the clock. But right now I wasn't paying attention, so I didn't pick the hero. I had the perfect timing to pick it. But it happens. Now I want to grab my gems only when the time is good for me so that's it you saw i i walked around for like three seconds without collecting gems without killing any monsters because i, I want to pick a shield when the time was correct up there so by correct i mean you want to pick your shield when the time shows between seven and zero seven uh, seven eight nine or zero on the second if you pick it early, it will spawn too soon. And if you pick like uh, four, five, six, it will spawn too soon. And if you pick uh, one, two, or three, it will spawn too late. Meaning that you you won't have the shoots on the proper time to kill the bats or to defend yourself. And that's the the main uh, gameplay tip I wanted to give you. And as you will be playing a lot of with shields, something very important too is that the shields 
they are not uh, only for defense. So, uh, just another uh, special thought. The mint doesn't deal damage, so you don't want the mint to be picked at those times. Because if you have the mint in the middle of the bat wave, it will explode, deal no damage, and instead of exploding my scarab that will kill the wave, the mint will explode and just heal me. So I don't want that. So the perfect time to pick mint is when you get the XP from the bat waves. Because you know, if I pick here, it will never be up to, to screw my bat killing moment. So, uh, very nice that it happened, so I could show, show you guys that. And uh, that's a very weird build to play. The, the... See, I, 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 can, I can kill a lot of the, a lot of the bats in a, in a very solid way with the with only my shoot times this is this is a very bad luck <laughs> run but it's interesting to show uh, i don't want to pick this this cooldown reduction right now because it will mess with the synchronization my my shield is perfectly the, uh, synchronized with the bat wave so if i pick this now i might not have the 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 shield to kill uh, bats in the future so i don't want that i will pick the second mint because in the late game, well, mint will be. I will want to mint to level up because I will need the healing, the extra healing it gives me. So that's why I I went for it. The fish snack would be a interesting play, interesting play too. But this build right now, I don't have any reeling ability. But uh, but the 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 mint. So I decide to pick it first. Oh, thank you for sending. Oh, you see, I would have to pick another. If I if I had a lot of uh, another uh, bad choice here, I would pick mint first. So now we have this. See, I, I I'm playing like more than half of the bats in a very. Uh, I know I will always kill this this amount. So that's very solid for my for my game plan. See, I, I'm not making a, a good run here, but I'm almost at 500 by minute three. And 500 is kind of a good, uh, not a, not a good, uh, a very good score, but a decent score. So I, I'm at least doing decent, even having having to pick two levels of Scarab and two levels of Mint, what is terrible in the early game. Now I have to throw the feathers out of my ass to kill this. It almost all bad skills again. Okay, got this guy. I just moved to to out of the the cage because there were there wasn't many things to kill inside the inside the cage. And, oh, what th this is awful. I'll go to the main uh, uh At that moment, I had uh, a few minions standing out of the out of the walls, and I had two shields up. So instead of walking around for five seconds, it's uh, awaiting the the bat wave and the walls to to go away. I just decided to expose my shields and uh, kill some of the some of the minions move out of the cage and have like five more seconds to collect the gems before the the bat wave arrives okay getting back to the shield strategy now uh as i have uh, a lot of shields uh, most of the time i need to use it then to to do damage so by uh, in the this early game, like before the turtle, I think every time a shield of mine expires and I didn't ex use it to explode and do damage, I consider it as a misplay because that's damage that I should be doing and I'm not. So you can see that I always I'm always moving towards the the, the enemies. Now the kingfisher, I should have been paying attention. To the to the clock to know if this is a good time to pick kingfisher i will pick it because my i 
it's just too bad already i need another damage but if this this the time is not right this will make it this a, a less efficient run okay it's perfect that was a luck a lucky uh, a lucky move and uh, same same as as we had it as the uh, three minutes timer we now at five are close to 900 again not an amazing score but a, a decent score so we are just fine and now we are just moving around and using the shields to pop up the bigger uh, the the biggest amount of minions we don't have uh, uh, much HP uh, regen that is in this build so we gotta be a little lot more cautious than if we had like a, a hazel bite or a dedicated healing spell like attack or something like this but it's it's okay. The wet dog is a very a very good pick for beginners. I think the wet dog and the curly are the best for beginner players because the the wet dog is very easy to dodge things. While the oh boy, more shields! Come on, game. <laughs> I I. While the, the curl will give you, give you a lot of the extra reeling to... If, if you misplay and take more damage than, than you should, you won't get very fun. Uh, at, at 6 minutes, I like to have 1200, we were like 50 gems below. But that's because I'm, uh, I'm playing a build that I'm not used to explaining and uh, being very unlucky. So, okay. But if you if you if you pay attention the the entire game the entire batch wave I'm just uh, being able to kill them kill them kill the bats and, and keep my gem count uh, at least close to what I consider a good gem count because of the shoots. Yeah, I, I think most uh, at all times at all batch waves I killed at least half the. Of the bats. Of course, there are there are strategies that will kill the 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 bats more efficiently. The thing is that the the shields they also offer you a uh, huge protection. So it's kind of like an, uh, you are you are using the fence to kill the bats instead of having some dedicated uh, peak, skill pick to handle them. So that's very uh, it's a very efficient way to use your skills. Yeah, now now we are getting lower on gem counts. I, I like to be at uh, 1800 at least by minute uh, 28. And I don't think we are going to... to hit that. Yeah, we are maybe 1700 is uh, okay. Now if we're going to be able. And again, now it's the important part about the shoot again. Look at how many, how many of the goblin waves I'm seeing. If you don't have uh, the 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 vast majority of the skills that you could be using to kill the bats, they are not able to kill the goblin wave. Uh, the goblin wave is way more tankier, but the shields they still kill the 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 many of the the goblins. So that's again extra gems that you are collecting due to the shield timing you you have planned since the the first minutes of the game. Uh, yeah, I I will go into my means because at at level five it at least gives me uh, more healing. So it might be a useful thing to have because I'm noticing that I'm taking a lot of damage and uh, I miss having uh, another dedicated healing skill or a uh, laser bite, uh, catfish, something like this. So we we'll probably have a hard time on killing this guy with these feathers. 
to explode the shields on him because shields are important part of our damage. Okay, we got him. Exploding the mains before it expires because I need the healing. Now exploding all my shields to go back. I, I had to move upwards a lot to protect myself from the from the boss. So now I have to go back to the position I was playing initially. That's a, that's another, another important thing. You don't want to run around the map. You want to kind of run in circles because if you run in circles, you have the you have the gems always concentrated in a small area. And if you just run around in the same direction always, you leave a lot of gems on the ground and you won't be able to pick them later. Making it very... you you have a lot of kills. See, that's... Like, that. This, here is the edge of my gameplay throughout the game. You see, there are no more gems south from here. So, okay, I know I have to go back to my central position. The, the West Dog is really easy to, to to play and explain because it's so it's a very safe uh, access choice with the with this high speed. He always exp uh, using my shields, trying to never let them expire by themselves, and getting more goblin kills. Okay, so down reduction is good. We will increase a lot of the RDPS we will need it for the for the boss that is coming. Oh, this skill still doesn't do much damage to to handle this big wave. You see, it's it feels should just wait to to few enemies. Yeah, the, the turtle will be very hard. This, this skill. I will try to move sideways to keep the the pattern of uh, moving circles. It's it's harder when we are fighting the boss because it, well we we'll have to stay alive. I now go out of the wall because I have a lot of shields I can do that too. <laughs> okay, the boss died. Let's use our shields again to explode. Then dodge the end. Wait for the next goblin wave to use your damage shield. You see the, the enemies, that's an important part I have commented only in the skill selection. You see the enemies are not running towards me, they are running always sideways. So if, if I keep running in circles, it's like they are, they are going to... They are moving around the circle, but after me. So I'm, I'm always ahead of them. See, I'm, I move it here, they are moving to the other side. Because the fish snack is deploying this, this base. That was a game-changing skill when really for me. Always using your shield to do damage. Now we have a level weight, a feather, feather spear. The damage is at its maximum, so it's like uh, 18 damage or so. Maybe a, a little, I don't know exactly. But at next level we'll get an extra wave. Of He always, I, that's uh, the Goblin Wave, uh, for many of you guys that uh, are starting playing right now, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a hard part to play. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a challenge. The each battle, each Goblin Wave is a challenge. But if you are playing like this, each Goblin Wave, it's an extra source of gems. So the gem, the, the shield expired because that was, a, as a, I was afraid of the turtle. Now I have to move away before the, the wall spawn. That was a greedy move just because I was so safe that I I could do that. And now we have to... Yeah. Now that uh, I, I was running uh, from the turtle and I missed the position at my, gem, my big group of gem was. Luckily it was close enough and I already found it again. But sometimes I move away, running to to survive from the 
from the turtle and I just go so far from the from the from the area I was playing that I can I don't know where it was anymore. So I lo I lose all those gems that were on the floor when the when the the turtle spawned. At this point, we are uh, already in a position where we are getting close to the to the gargoyles when the 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 other minions will get stronger and stronger so you will be needing more shields it's a way too soon for me to pick the kingfisher i think i will go with the arco but it's already i'm already considering picking this i think i i will actually pick this already because it's already uh 14 minutes into the game we only have a, a couple more waves so you see that in the next uh, in the next uh, goblin wave I might not have my purple shield up. Oh, it spawned soon. Oh, okay. It was spawning in the middle of the wave and now it spawned sooner. Okay, so I still had it. But uh, it's the game is getting to a point where I need more defense. I, I will need more defense and, and I'm planning ahead for that. boss is uh is not very strong and for this this axe it's it's really it's probably very easy to kill him because the the only thing he has that is strong is its speed but i'm faster than him with the white dog so he's he can do much against me with the, if you if you have a uh, something like this but with uh, a big yaki he will do a lot of damage to you. Okay, I'm going out of here. Yeah, I, I sacrificed a little of... Um, not a little, more than half of my HP. Because I was thinking it might get... Uh, <laughs> I, I might get in a bad position. Okay, now. This is, a, this is a situation that won't happen often. Because you, you are not likely to have a... A level 5 shield at this point. I only have the level 5 shield because we had terrible draws in the early game. But as I have it already, my, my normal pick would be would be get the level 2 hero to uh, later get the level 3 and have my shield to be up more often. But the level 7 shield is a very huge power spike because the shield is so strong and it's spawning so often that's very reliable defense it's it's not worth the seven levels i i i i would rather have it elsewhere but as i had to pick it i will go for it and if i get the level seven uh mint it will be a very important defense tool for me even more because i need the healing as well so it will be a very solid uh, pick, the, the level 7. Let's explode this shoes uh, one last time, because now we have the gargoyles. And, uh, well, go around. See, I, 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 when I, that's a, that's a kind of, more of an, uh, a little more advanced move. You saw that I knew I had already dodged the wave. So I wasn't in trouble anymore uh, for that wave. So I decide to uh, explode my shields into the into the into those guys to explode my shields and uh, get a little extra gems. But that's kind of I, I knew I was safe and I could do that. But the the my goal is uh, my normal goal is just to dodge the, the. So now, see, I can explode there because. Uh, all the rest of the wave was already gone. At this point, it's kind of okay if you don't explode your shields every time, because well, it's a uh, it's a little more dangerous if you if you misplay, you can get killed. Now let's try to kill this guy. Let's see if we can make it. I played so many big yaks, now I feel so fast in the last set. So we dodge here, and 
you see i have strength of shoes oh I, my mouse uh, my mouse stopped working in the middle of the wall so that's why i took more damage but if i had just run away i wouldn't take uh, that much damage it's a it's a safe play it's a safe play with uh, like four shields to just run over the walls it's it, you uh it's there's no risk involved okay we got another boss killing the it will get tougher and tougher with the we are dealing very little damage with this main dps skill and we don't even have it level 9 so, okay just move away explode to get a level and Okay, last level, and we just move around this big group of enemies, and oh, my mouse is really dying. Yeah, I need to 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 use the shield more aggressive than I than I wanted here, because uh, this build is doing so low damage. At this point, I should have my main carry skill doing way more damage. So, uh. Uh, in in this build, what you what you're going to do is to have all these shoots up, and you can try a lot of different strategies, and just uh, choose one skill to be your main, and you will be maxing out it. Last patch we have a uh, uh, risky beast as a good skill. We had tiny dino. We had catfish. Now let's go. The Kingfisher is a very important shoot to explode because it procs the mark. Once the time is 17, I will move away from here. Okay, time to go. Leave him in the edge of the screen. Uh, you should not uh, do what I did right now. I moved to the side. If you see, it's th the side of the wall is larger. So if I try to to move away from it by the sides, it will do more damage than if I go north or north or south. So uh, that was a <laughs> an explanation of what not to do. Okay, we got the, the boss. And 21, I think the things will get, it will be harder. In... Okay, so I wanted this in the early game, the cooldown reduction, of course, but at this point, I, I will have trouble surviving. So having a shield proccing, uh, having this high, high amount of shield from Mint proccing very often will be very helpful for me. The meat is up again, so it's very fast. I can use my damage shield more, uh, more even more aggressively because the the meat will be up so fast. Oh, okay, didn't take an extra blow. The arc is a very, a very, uh, as I said, you can pick the uh, the skills from 7 to 0 seconds and they will work to the best. The arc is the, is a shoot that if you, if you can choose the arc like uh, more close in the, in the 9 or in the 0, it's better because the, the speed boost also helps you a lot. I think you, you were seeing that that I, I every time a, a boss uh, gargoyle wave appears, I'm very fast. Okay, now I went south and took. You see, I, I had the same amount of shields, but my HP was I, I only exploded the shields. My HP didn't drop it at all. But I then took a gargoyle hit and uh, it's dropped. But uh, compared to the other time where I where I moved it to I dodged to the side, it was way more efficient. There is a big gem over there. Yeah, I have to move this. I have to move these guys away from the big gem. Oh no! Oh, 
the, the, at this point they start taking a lot of damage. So if I misplay, I will get cursed to death. Get me my give my gem, thank you. I uh, uh, I I didn't pay enough attention. So at this point, I'm pretty sure that there is a big group of gems somehow somewhere in the map because I had to move away from one of the bosses and now that I they are dead and I could go back there I don't know where it was and it's not worth if if I knew the direction I would be I could go there but as I don't know it's not worth the time of leaving all these monsters without taking damage for 15 seconds to go grab those gems because killing them with oh I took a wall hit at this point it's just surviving, surviving, surviving. So every time you see a cooldown reduction, oh, that's my guy. That, uh, that's your, uh, level 2 Scarab. I had to pick on level, I don't know, level 6. That was a terrible level. Now it's being worth something because I will have a uh, more Scarab shield to drop. And it's even more important right now because we are nearly uh, out of the Gargoyle zone. The gargoyles they only spawn up to minutes uh, up to minutes 24. So once you are out of the gargoyle zone, the synchronizing doesn't matter anymore. It's just work for before the minutes uh, 24. So right now, every time I can pick a shield cooldown reduction, I want it. Oh, again, I move it kind of to the south, taking the longer path because it's 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 hard <laughs> it's sometimes you just commit some mistakes it happens but having this amount of shields is is saving my ass okay let's try to make it to 400 so this this was the last cargo wave oh no my shield my shield disappeared and at 24 we have this the bigger uh, the bigger fat waves the bigger uh, fly wave starts spawning and that's a nightmare of course I can dodge with this guy but still pretty hard to collect the gems efficient to kill stuff yeah not, a, at, not exactly at 24 I think it's before 25 I don't know exactly when the, the flies start getting crazy but we have to keep moving because you see the snake, the uh, the fish snacks are dropping, so they just dropped. So they are moving that direction. I have to run away from it, explode some shields, and keep the spin to make the en the the enemies hit the. I just go move move south a little, a little more to to be able to collect those gems. There were stacked over there. Yeah. Oh no! Oh, my mouse is terrible. Now we have this boss. I don't know if we can survive this. I don't know if the, the, the strategy of moving away with your shields, I don't think it applies to the four walls. Maybe if I can get to the walls with a full stack of shields, Maybe I can run away, but I needed the full stack of shit. Okay, I did it. Yeah, you just go... The the, the walls now, they have a... a, a it, it's been a few patch that the walls they have... A, ah, no, my mouse! Sorry, guys. <laughs> my mouse is dying and this is during my gameplay. Okay, let's go after those gems to get the 4,000. See if we can get plenty up there. Those gems here, here. Okay, we are almost there. Let's explode this shield. Okay, there we go. 4,000. It's already a, probably a nice four. And here we just try to kill this guy and survive. But it's really hard. This is cute. Uh, at this point, uh, it's it's useless for me, so I'll get, I'll get another fish net. 
because at this point I can't stay close to the to the enemies. If I can't stay close to the enemies, I, I won't be hidden with the. Oh, move away. Okay, dodge. I went here to grab my big gem because I know what. I'm very healthy, and this is this might be my end. So I want that big gem. Bad. Okay, grid move to explode and I, like I said, I just trying to pick as many gems as I can. Okay, a big group of gems over here. You see the the minions over the the fish snacks. Have a room to pass on. Yeah, this this boss. That be a tough boss. I have to join. Enter here. Okay. Now I I need my shields up for that wall move. But that will be pretty sick to do. Okay, it worked. I don't know if I can survive much longer. I don't know if I'll be able to make it. Oh, that's a fucking sick gameplay. Oh boy, that might be one of the sickest play I ever made in this game. That was nuts. I hope for if anyone watched the full video, I think this this was a a worth ending. Yeah, that was so fucking nice. Oh boy. <laughs> I can't believe that that worked. Really hard to kill things now. My 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 feather do close to no damage then. Oh, it died. So I have to try to move the, the group away. I will try to move here. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, we got it. Another level up. Uh, let's go with the boy that is helping us a lot. And oh, we might be able to see carry. I don't know that the 29 minutes boss will be even harder at this point. Let's avoid entering the room right now. Okay. Now we try the. Oh boy, that was a lot of damage. Oh no, I couldn't make it. And I didn't have enough DPS to kill the the the, the boss inside it. So I hope it, uh, you have enjoyed the the video, the tips. I tried to explain the everything that came to my mind. No, no hidden strategy. That's exactly what I do. I just pick the the tri feather because it's the first the first run of the patch, and I wanted to try the the skill that got buffed. So. That's it. Let's see how it went. Okay, we got top one on the on the on the video. That that's nice. Uh, this this game this score will get will be crushed soon. By when Tanger or Dorkito or those guys start to playing with uh, with more efficient builds. But that was a very very nice run, and that's that play was just thick. Thank you for watching and see you on the leaderboard.